growing and harvesting of olives has been improving over the course of thousands of years. It is not without its challenges and setbacks. And one of the greatest threats to a healthy harvest is the presence of pests and diseases. One particularly insidious example is the bacterium called Xylella fastidiosa. It was first detected in the Puglia region of southern Italy in 2013, and since then, Xylella has killed millions of olive trees in Italy alone, despite major efforts to contain the disease. The effects were widespread and dramatic, and collectively were termed olive quick decline syndrome. Xylella is considered one of the most dangerous plant pathogenic bacteria worldwide, as it affects not only olive trees, but a number of other economically important plant species. Its effects have cost the olive oil industry alone billions of euros in damages so far, and without an effective long-term solution, that number will increase dramatically. Xylella is transmitted by insect vectors, such as the spittlebug, that feed on the xylem, which are the cells that make up the water channels of the host plant. If the plant is susceptible, the bacteria can multiply in the xylem and clog those vital waterways. This leads to a decrease in water and nutrient flow and typically results in the death of the plant. It is also worth noting that there are susceptible plant species growing not only across Europe, but also in Asia and the Americas. That's one of the factors that makes containment of xylella so difficult. Unfortunately, trees do not always exhibit the symptoms of xylella infection and can rather act as silent carriers of the bacteria. This makes it very difficult to simply cull the affected trees and it can create a long-term reservoir of the bacteria. In the European Union, xylella is present in Italy, Spain, Portugal, and France. Unfortunately, there currently is no practical treatment for xylella other than tree felling. But the tight layout of groves in producing countries such as Italy makes even tree felling inconsequential against the disease. One of the most promising avenues moving forward may be the planting of resistant olive cultivars, such as the Lecino and Favolosa cultivars, that could reduce transmission between trees. There are also additional forms of treatment being researched related to vector control, such as biological control, which is introducing an organism that would target the insects that transmit xylella to the trees. As the global demand for high quality extra virgin olive oil is on the rise, ensuring a healthy supply of olives for future harvests is extremely important.